Chackle Junkies, what's going on, fellas? Real appreciate you guys clicking on the video. In today's video, we're going to go over every soft plastic that I own. Hope you guys enjoy the show. Like I said, guys, really appreciate you guys clicking on the video. If you guys have not subscribed to the channel yet, definitely consider subscribing. Don't forget to ring that bell. That way you guys are notified every time I release a new video. Always smash that thumbs up, guys. Leave some comments down below. If you guys have been watching the videos here recently, you know that we're doing a like challenge each video. And every video that gets 500 likes, we do a giveaway for that video. All right, that being said, the last video did not reach 500 likes. So as of right now, there's no giveaway on that video. I know it wouldn't interest everyone just because it was on trout, new trout lures that I got, but there's still a few thousand views on it. So for whatever reason, I guess you guys didn't like it enough to like that video. So again, no giveaway on that video. But a lot of you guys have been asking for a video like this. So we're going to have to step it up in this video to get a giveaway. I mean, a thousand likes. I know you guys can do it. I'm sure this video will get at least a few thousand views. So no reason you guys can't get it to a thousand likes and we'll do a nice soft plastic giveaway for someone. So definitely smash the thumbs up. As a matter of fact, and do it right now. That way you guys don't forget. Let's get a thousand likes on this video. And like I said, we'll do a nice soft plastic giveaway for one of you guys. Now you guys also know that we're doing like the ultimate tackle bag build right now. We've done four so far and the fifth video will be on soft plastics and it'll be the probably the next video that you see after this one. I kind of thought it would be cool to go over all of my soft plastics and then show you in the next video how I simplify that for the ponds. That's kind of the whole point of that series to simplify things. You don't want to pack too much and then you're just constantly you know, tying on new lures and not really fishing the ones that you had tied on effectively. You don't want too many choices there to confuse yourself. You know, less is better. You know, it really less is more at the ponds. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to confuse yourself. So after I show you everything here, you'll see how it could be confusing for the beginner. But then in the next video, like I said, I'll show you guys how to simplify things at the ponds. So I think the easiest way to do this is just to grab the camera and bring you guys up to the baits. Just a quick heads up, we're using a GoPro 9 with a medium mod. I have that set to rear mic. All right, from the top, Roboworm Easy Shad. I used to toss these a ton years ago. Have not thrown those in a while though. Some Guggen baits, those are Mondo Worms. We do have some uh, Trench Hogs back there, some Dragon Drops, and we are using the Broken Rod that uh, USPS was kind enough to deliver to us in two pieces. Really do appreciate that, big shout out to them. That's the Psycho Stick. Again, it's not available in two pieces, but they made mine a two-piece. Got to have the 10,000 fish. Sakushi Bug, that's a big player in the TJ household. 10,000 fish. Yoda Worm, a fantastic Chatterbait trailer. Shaky head bait. We got the Shimmer Swimmers. We got some Grunge Toads, or what are those called? Gurgle Toads. Gurgle Toads from Strike King there. And we got a bunch of the Ribbit Frogs. In the rear there, I love the little ribbit frogs on the back of a buzzbait. Baby destroyers and the standard size destroyer. We got some Yamamoto Zakos and the Razor Shads from Z-Man. Okay, great Chatterbait trailers there. Some D-Bombs here. Got to have the D-Bombs. Chunk Craws, 3.5 and the 4-inch. Some of my favorite hog type bait. Reaction Innovations. These are the Spicy Beavers. Bunch of different colors on there, guys. And something I want to mention too, you know, if you're just getting into fishing or you want to try a new bait out or whatever, I mean, if you get like a black and blue, a green pumpkin base and like a watermelon base, if you're around clear water, those few colors should get it done. I mean, if you can't get bit on those few colors, you know, it could be you, it could be the bait itself, but I mean, you don't need a dozen colors to catch fish. Like I said, a few colors to see if it works out. If they do work, you can branch off from there. But like I said, a green pumpkin type color and a black and blue should get bit pretty much anywhere. All right, next up we have the saw crawl and the hoss crawl. You guys can pick those up over there at Carl's if you're looking for a cheaper alternative to like the rage crawl. Definitely check these out. These here are pretty similar to like the rage lobster and then the rage um, Rage Craw is pretty similar to the Hoss Craw here. Now the Hoss Craw is a slimmer profile, doesn't quick, doesn't kick quite as much as the Rage Craw, but it's still pretty similar. So again, if you are looking for a cheaper alternative, definitely check them out over there at Carl's. 
We got some six cents stroker crawl and we have the prawn back there as well. The noisy flapper from Kai Tech. Rhythm Wave, one of my favorite swim baits right there. We got the Divine Swim Baits. We do have some Riot Baits beavers in here. We got both sizes there. There's a bigger size there in the back. Some chunks, and then like I said, the small beaver there. The Kinky Beaver, we got some 420 Sweet Beavers. I do believe we have some Man Bear Pigs back there as well. We got the Jack All Archelon. We got the Cover Craw. We got some Coffee Tubes. I tell you what, these tubes back here, these are the Mega Strike tubes. Those are awesome. All right, we got the Gene LaRue, the, uh, what are these called? The Mega Ring Tube, and we have some of the 4.5 Who Daddies. Those are awesome. Love the Who Daddies. Reaction Innovations. We got the Pocket Rocket here, and we got a bunch of Skinny Dippers, Little Dippers back there. The Big Bite Baits, Kamikaze, fantastic. A Cheddar Bait trailer right there. We got some Kitex here, Gold Flash Minnow, uh, Sungill, French Pearl. Really love the Kitex. Let me show you guys something real fast. Now, the Gold Flash Minnow and the Black Shad. Now, years ago, they were talking about uh, discontinuing those colors. I, I do believe they brought them back for a limited amount of time. For all I know, they could be back in stock for good right now, but just in case they go out, those are my two go to colors Gold Flash Minnow and black shad and we have about i don't know 16 or 18 packs left of each color and like i said i will not run out of those i mean if they did discontinue that color for good that was definitely a bad move this one right here man this is a fish catching machine black shad hopefully we have enough there to last us a few more years okay where were we we talked about the kitex we got some you know, I think we missed those. We went to here, here. Okay, we got Beast Coast swim baits here. Then we have some net bait. These are pack of chunks and the pack of, baby pack of craw. Really like those. Biffle bugs, got a ton of these as well. Again, you don't need this many colors of biffle bugs, but this is a confidence bait for me. Love throwing the biffle bugs. Grande fishing, kickback shad, a little bit of everything in there. I do have a code for you guys over there, Grande Bass. Uh, TJ81 get you guys 25% off. We got some robo worms in here, some rains worms, some rains tubes and craws. Okay. We got the uh, Beast Coast Marauder. We got some saucy swimmers, some more Kitex back there. We got some Ned bombs and we got some uh, quivers. We have the Champ Craw, Spark Shad. And we got some TRD craws in here. We got some, what are those called? Ned zone craws. And we got a bunch of the rage uh, Ned bugs. Okay. We'll go to this section next. Let's go to uh, these first. Z-Man Pop Shad. That's a great little top water popper, soft plastic. Then we have the Game Changer Lures Eliminator. I got both sizes here. It's a great little buzz bait trailer or rig by itself. We do have Let's go over here. We got some Gambler Ugly Otters, the Burner Craw, and the Why Nots. Now here, I mean, I have more than I'll ever use of the Why Nots. Probably a dozen different colors that I do not need, but they had a pretty good sale, so I figured, you know what? Why not try out a bunch of different colors? And like I said, I have not used half of those colors. I still use my main colors that I always use. BB Crickets, fantastic little bait right here. If you guys are not tossing the BB Cricket, get you some great little shaky head bait, or even just Texas rigged and pitched around grass. Great little bait right there. The Young Money Crawl, one of my favorites right there. Crawl Pappy. These are the Chigger Crawls. These are the Ike's Colors in Grunge, uh, Labatt, and Goat. Then we got some Chigger Bugs here, and we got some Chigger Quads, bunch of different colors. We got, let's see here, these are the Shad Nasty, some swim baits from Excite, a couple of their Little underspin heads. We got some 10 inch raptor tail worms. We got some raptor tail chunks and then a bunch of the raptor tail juniors. Love those. We got some crazy leg chigger craws and then we have a bunch of the power bait pit boss. My go to colors in here. Where's that? Right there. Skeet's hot craw. 
That is a fish catcher right there, man. Love the power bait stuff. I really don't throw the Havoc anymore. I like the scent. I used to scent all the Havoc stuff. Now I just buy the power bait. Okay, speaking of power bait, this is the Max scent. We got a bunch of this stuff right here. Bunch of the crazy flappers, 3.6 and the 4.4, I believe it's called. Yeah, the 4.4 size back there. Bunch of those. One of my go-to baits right here, the Power Hog. Uh, let's see, the lake that I fished the most, my PB on that lake was caught on a black um, power bait, power hog. We got some of the deal right here. We got, uh, I believe these are just some lizards. That's Mr. Twister. Some culprit lizards there. The water dragon. What else we got back there? The Wild Thing Series VM, Lizzie 6.5. So just some lizards. I did notice like I'm low on lizards, I'm low on 10 inch worms. You know, with having all my stuff in those totes for a while, I really didn't know what I had. So now that I got them out of the totes, I can really see what I need to make orders on. All right, the Rage Tail stuff, we got Rage Cross. Bunch of different colors here. Love the Tequila Sunrise, Orange Flake, more Rage Cross. These are some of these are the DB Craw, and then more just standard Rage Cross there. The Structure Bugs, Structure Bugs. Rage Toes, I love these. Green Pumpkin Chartreuse, one of my go-tos right there. This is probably just a bunch of stuff in here, a bunch of different uh, striking baits. We got some Craws in here. Looks like some Thumper Worms. Uh, Space Monkeys. Smoking Rooster, that's one of my go-tos right there as well. Love the Smoking Rooster. We got some Rodents in here. The Menace, one of my favorites right here. Just a rig by itself on a jig head, Texas rig, jig trailer, swim jig trailer. I love these. We got them in black and blue and moonlight. Blue Sapphire, Craw Daddy, Tequila Sunrise. That is the Pearl Flash, Smoky Shad, Green Pumpkin, Falcon Lake Craw. Again, you don't need that many colors, but when I have a lot of confidence in a bait, I tend to buy too many colors. We got some Zoom. Split tail trailers for like a spinner bait or whatever. These here, Blade Minnows, fantastic chatter, chatter bait trailer. We got some Yamamoto D shads and then a bunch of perfect plastic uh, flukes. And we got some Strike King swim baits down here. Bunch of the Bruiser baits. Rad shad, this is my, my go-to fluke right here. Besides the KVDs, I love the, the Rad Shed. I never would have really found out about these if it wasn't for MTB. Got one of those in my MTB box, loved them, and you can see I ordered a ton of them. Here we got some 10-inch worms, some Bruiser 10-inch worms there. We got the uh, the Mad Wag from Kytex, some Culprit. We got some Missile Baits, or those Tomahawks back there. Some Anacondas. And then we got, uh, where we stop at? We went over these and we got some of the rage tail cut our worms hard candy red bug black blue swirl tequila sunrise orange flake and that's a green pumpkin craw there and we got some green pumpkin pearl that's a fantastic worm right there we got some lunker city this is another bait that i found out about in my mtv box love these got them in green pumpkin in our mtv box i went and ordered some more black blue and more green pumpkin there got some molex Creature baits back there, the Freaky Flip. We got some Yamamoto Creature Baits, Fat Icas, Exxon Lures, Adrenaline Bug, and some Bruiser, uh, the Intruders. If you guys can see those Intruders there. I don't think I went over this one as well. I might have. I think we did, yeah. These are the Mr. Twister, uh, Water Dragons and all that. We went through that stuff, I do believe. Come up here to the Daiwa 5-inch Nico Fat. And we got some of the Nico Straight back there. The Yum, Big Show Craw. These are discontinued now, but I do believe they make those in the Stanford. Stanford Big Show Baits. These things are awesome. Kind of reminds me of the BB Crickets. And that could be it for this wall, I believe. Let me stick back, show you guys everything again. I do believe that's everything on that wall there. We already talked about... What was down there, all the Kytex. We got a bunch of Biospawn in here. Just a bunch of the Exo Swims. Extra stock of the Vile Crawls and the Vile Bugs. All right, that's all, that's all Biospawn. And right, now we got our wall of Biospawn. We got our Vile Crawls here. Okay. 
XL ribbon, 10 inch, one of my favorites. Those, old monster, probably like the Rage Tail Anaconda. What else do we like? Um, Berkeley Power Bay 10 inch, I'm out of those as well. Those are some of my favorite 10 inch worms, but the XL ribbon is fantastic. We got some more vile craws up here. Looks like a black and blue flag, June bug. We got our vile bugs here, green pumpkin. We got Bama, Okeechobee craw, June bug, black and blue. I mean, I have a nice variety of colors, but really if you have a black and blue and a green pumpkin, I mean, that's really all you need to see if you like the bait, if you're going to catch fish or whatever. I mean, those two colors will catch fish day in, day out, no matter where you go. All right, some XO swims up there. A nice variety of colors. Fighter shad, electric shad. Okay, up the top here, more plasma tails. Green pumpkin plasma, black, black and blue. I love their June bug. Love their June bug there. Red bug. I do believe they have the best watermelon red in the game right there. That color is awesome. Some more exo swims there. Back up top. Got some more plasma tails. 4.5. That's a fantastic cheddar bait trailer right there. I know it's a finesse worm, but don't overlook it as a cheddar bait trailer as well. A few colors there. All right, then we have the exopod, which is pretty much like the, the menace there. From striking very similar style there black and blue june bug bama and we do have some white there and some green pumpkin behind it right in here we have a bunch of senkos a few different brands in here the kvd perfect plastics we got some lake fork in here we got a bunch of the dingers in here as well perfect plastics some more dingers but for the most part in here these are all Yamamoto's, five inch and six inch, handful of colors. I do believe the rest of these here are all, all Yamamoto. But I'll tell you what, for the price though, it is hard to beat the Yum Dingers. That's a good color there too. Great bluegill imitator, that brim color. All right, moving on. We have a bunch of the Savage Gear craws in here. That red craw, that one there is killer. That's a bunch of those over there. For the most part, I do believe this stuff's like the smaller shad type baits. We got the shad shaped worm in here. We got the Domeki. Those are great on a little scrounger head. Little small flukes in here, power bait minnows. Uh, more Domeki, Bass Assassins. Uh, the Easy Shiner 4 inch, some more of the Power Bait Minnows, some little Rains, Perfect Plastics in the 4 inch, Shad Impact 4 inch, some more Zoom, some more of the uh, Bass Assassins. You guys pretty much get the gist of what's in here. Some Yamamoto Fat Baby Craws. Okay, I need to get some more hooks though so I can get everything hung up and see exactly what I have. It'll make it much easier when I order tackle, I stop ordering duplicates, you know, and actually order what I need, which ain't much. I mean, I am pretty set for the most part. All right, and here we got some uh, chopper worms, straight tail worms. You know, for the most part, I'm using the biospawn, but when I'm not using biospawn, I am using the chopper. This one here was like our go-to worm in color for the longest time. The Chompers, natural blue glitter. This is like one of my wife's favorite colors as well. You can see we got like 10 packs in here. There was a time we thought these were going to be discontinued, so I bought a bunch of them. And of course they never discontinued them. Got some Chomper tubes in here. Love the Chomper tubes. We got some of the real deal. What are these things called? Oh, these aren't the real deal. These are just the 3.5 Warmouth. Okay, some more of those in here. Okay, a little chomper, double tail grub, some more tubes. These are the real deal shads. We got some real deal craws in here. Some more of the warm mouth here. The Jerky J, man, this is a fantastic Chatterbay trailer as well. The old Jerky J, love those. 
We got some zoom speed crawls in here. Uh, looks like the fighting frog, speed worms. We got some VM J bugs. We got some Jean LaRue, Tattletale worms, a couple different sizes in there. I love this one right here. Methylate, eight inch. We got some in the six, six inch there. Some perfect, perfect plastic chunks. A bunch of those in there. Some more Rage Craws. Okay. More Rage Craws over here as well. It's a nice little variety in here. All right, we got one more tote left, and then we'll get into the speed bags. What do you guys think? What brand is in this last tote here? All right, guess down below. What brand do you think is in this tote? All right, let's open it up. Actually, there's two brands in here, but mainly one brand, and that is Power Team Lures. Yes, I still use their stuff. I absolutely love the Craw Derv. It'll always be one of my favorite little, you know, finesse craws. Great on a little shaky head, finesse jig trailer. These are fantastic. Bunch of different colors in here. What else we got? These are the uh, the maulers. Got a bunch of those in here. These are the swing and hammers, the swim baits, the hammer shads. These are great on the back of a little scrounger head as well. Chatterbait trailer, little shaky head. That's the 3.6. I also use the 4.8. I'm sure those are in here somewhere. Some of the lizards, love their lizards. A uh, bunch more of the maulers here. Bunch of those in here. Let's see here. More maulers, more maulers. More maulers, more maulers. Oh, here's the uh, 4.8 hammer shed there. Again, great little chatterbait trailer, shaky head on a scrounger head. Here's some swinging hammers, little swim bait there. More maulers down below, and then more of the, uh, the craw d'oeuvres there. Bunch of different colors. I absolutely love this bait. Okay, and then we do have some missile baits, D bombs in here, bulk packs sprayed grass, black and blue, and green pumpkin. All right, now on to the speed bags. These are Plano speed bags. We do have uh, mainly large bags here, then a couple small. Uh, for the large, we do have Guggen Baits, Kraken Craws, both sizes. Then we have another bag here with Lunker Logs, five and six inch. Another bag here with Bandito Bugs, both sizes. And we got a bag here, this is another large bag. A bunch of different type of grubs in here. These are um, Yamamoto grubs, some Slurpees, uh, Rage Tail grubs, some Kalins, Lunker City. And these are the uh, Cutar worms, like a swimming worm. These things are fantastic. Another large bag up here. These are more grubs as well. Love the, the Menace grubs. Okay, a bunch of those in here, a bunch of different colors. All right, then we got some more Yamamoto. Uh, hula grubs in here, some more of the Rage Menace Grubs, some of the Craw Fathers, some Missile Baits, the Twin Turbos, and again, more of the uh, Yamamoto Hula Grubs, some Cowboys, so a nice variety of grubs in there. And for the couple small speed bags here, these are like trailers for Buzz Baits and just your like your Rage Toads. You guys know I love the little Jean LaRue Biffle Bug. On the back of a buzz bait, I do have a video on that, which I'll link down below. We got some of the Lake Fork toes in there. Love the little rivet frogs, rigged by themselves. Or this size here, I love on the back of a buzz bait. More Lake Fork, the Z-Man, the Pop Shads. Those things are awesome. Again, more Rage Toads in here. Rage Toad, Rage Toad, and more of the Lake Fork toads there. And this one here is all like Ned Rig type stuff. We got the Yammy Fish in here, a bunch of different Z-Man craws and bugs and all that. We got some of the Guggen Baits rattling Neds. Yeah, just a bunch of different Z-Man in here. All sorts of little, like the TRDs and all the all sorts of stuff in here. Craws and more craws, trick shots. Uh, you name it, it's in here from Z-Man. Yeah, the bugs are in here. Finesse TRD. And now I got a big mess. <laughs> so yeah, you can see though, that bag does hold 
quite a bit of soft plastic. You can see really, I think the small is supposed to hold 20 and the large is supposed to hold 40, but with clamshells, you don't get near that amount. But you can see when they're not in clamshells or they're just smaller baits, you can get quite a few packs of baits in these bags here. All right, fellas, that should wrap up this soft plastic tour. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. You know, if you have uh, maybe a certain bait or a favorite bait that you like or you want me to try, you know, leave them down below in the comments. And when I make a soft plastic order, I'll definitely pick a few of those uh, to pick up this season to review or just to try out and all that. You know, I do sell baits from time to time. And uh, as I was going through all of my baits to hang up here, there were some that I thought I had that I must have sold. Others that I thought I had more of that I don't. So I will have to make a stock up order here sometime in the year, probably the middle of the year before summertime. That way I can get some more 10-inch worms and lizards and things like that. So if you guys leave some comments down below on some baits you want me to try, I'll definitely pick some of those up, you know, sometime during the year. But like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up, guys. We're trying to get this video to 1,000 likes. And once I see it's at 1,000 likes, we'll do a random giveaway for somebody in the comments. So make sure you guys are subscribed. Ring that bell, smash the thumbs up, leave a comment down below because we do use a random comment generator to pick the winner. But like I said, guys, I wanted to do this video first before I do the episode five for the pond hoppers. You know, the building, the, building the, the ultimate pond bag. I wanted to do this video first. That way you guys can kind of see everything that's kind of available and how it can be confusing for the beginner. And then I'll show you guys how I break it down and simplify things for the pond. So keep a lookout for the next video. You guys are awesome. Love you guys, and we'll see you guys on the next one.